Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Valorant's economy and how to properly use it. Because what I've seen in a lot recently is not a lot of people know how to properly use the economy and how to be efficient with it. So this guide is definitely something you want to check out and watch for the whole thing, okay? So what is Valorant's economy? So basically, Valorant's economy is basically the mini game within the game itself and how to properly manage your resources between each round, depending on if you win or you lose a round, okay? So basically, there's multiple different types of rounds. You got the pistol round, you got the save round, you got a buy round, you got an eco round, you got a hero buy round, and yeah. So what a lot of these rounds involve is depending on what happens in the previous round, dictates what you do in the next round okay so let's start off at the very beginning okay so on pistol what is your goal on pistol well it's really about developing momentum towards later into the game okay so if you win pistol you have more currency in the next round than your enemy team does okay so basically in pistol you want to maximize your equipment if you're a sentinel or a controller but if you're a duelist you maybe you want one of those guns where it's a bit more damage dealing okay so maybe a sheriff or ghost or jet so for me if i'm playing jet i like to pick ghost and cloud burst if i'm playing on offense however if i'm on defense i might float the idea of buying a sheriff that round okay however if i'm playing like a cypher or something or a killjoy i probably want to focus more on equipment and playing around that equipment especially if it's on offense or defense your equipment each round is very important so you might want to save up for some of that equipment however on an agent like jet it's more about fragging out and your special ability that you're given each round is definitely a deterrent of well do i really need to buy more or should i just primarily focusing on a gun so let's just say you want pistol okay and if you're an individual like Jet, you might want to do something else in particular. However, a majority of all agents, you're most likely going to either go for a light buy, so or eco round buy, okay? So what I like to do on basically round two, after we win pistol, is either buy a Spectre, Guardian, Bulldog, with full equipment and a light shield, okay? Now, obviously, the ghost is depending on if you die or previous rounds but that's basically the premise okay and most likely you're trying to force yourself to build up your economy after a pistol wind and you got to make sure you buy this eco round okay so let's just say you win the pistol round you buy up now you're in the eco round you basically want to maximize your buy so you can win this eco round okay and you want to pick the proper weapon for your agent to properly win this match okay now on eco rounds the the enemy should majority of the time depending on the comp or depending on the team you might run into maybe a force buy team but majority of the time they will only be buying pistols if they lost the pistol round okay so the most likely they will only have pistols because they're trying to save for their third round okay so let's just say you won your second round okay so what do you do it really depends on if you survive the uh, the second round or if you die okay so if you win the if you win personally the second round and you pretty much got all your equipment and you didn't use it, all of it honestly just keep it the way it is maybe retop on your light shields or something like that however if you die i would recommend in only maintaining a classic or if you're able to buy a piss or a sheriff okay now it really depends on the amount of production you are doing each round okay as an agent like Jet or a Sentinel like Killjoy or a Cypher or maybe a controller like Astro or something like that, you want to aim for about 4,500 currency minimum next round, okay? So let's see. I know I'm next round, okay? Let's just say bam, bam. You can see in the corner it says minimum next round. That means if I lose that next round, my buy is going to be 5200 without if i didn't even if i didn't get a single kill however that will fluctuate up or down depending on certain actions okay so it goes up if you get kills and if you win the round and you defuse the bomb or you plant the bomb it will go down only will go down if you survive the round and you keep a gun okay so this 5,200 will turn into 4,200 if you survive the round and the enemy team did not kill you, okay? Now, in the second and the third round, honestly, you kind of want the enemy team to kill you 
at the end, let's just say your whole team dies, you're in a 1v5. It is better to actually get killed by the enemy team or the bomb itself than actually um, surviving, okay? And the reason why, because in the second or in the third round, you don't want to like keep a, a bulldog, right? Or a ghost or a phantom or a shorty or a bucky or potentially a judge. You, you want to learn how to buy next, okay? It's all about prioritizing the Vandal or the Phantom. It really depends on what you like, okay? These are the main guns that are going to win you gunfights compared to the other guns. Like, again, there's going to be trick plays with the Odin. There's going to be trick plays with the Judge or something or the Operator. But in majority of the situations, you're going to be looking for the Vandal or the Phantom in your gunfights, okay? So it's all about maximizing these outputs or sorry, these inputs to maximizing the minimum next buy round, okay? So I buy a Phantom and a Light Shield. Next round, minimum next round, I will get 2,300 if we lose the round. However, so just to recap, in round three, depending on if you win or lose, it's all about saving for next round, okay? So if you die in round two, don't buy round three, okay? However, if you lose round two, yeah, you still don't buy. Let's just be serious. You don't buy in round three if you win eco and pistol. Okay. You want to build up your, um, let's just say you want to build up your economy. Okay. Over time. Okay. The question is though, well, you guys listen, that's the real question. <laughs> okay. So in round three, let's just say you won one. So let's just, let's just say it. Hypothetically, you win one, two, and three, okay? You won the pistol, you won the eco, and you won the bonus round. So the third round, if you win the first two rounds, the third round is called the bonus round, okay? So let's just say you win the bonus round, okay? Just buy full. Just buy. You have so much money in that meantime, okay? So you would have the 5,200 here, plus another 2,000 since you win, plus all the kills you get. So you will have a lot more currency. So next round, you would buy heavy shields with either the Vandal or Phantom or the Operator, depending on what type of agent you are. However, if you lose round three, if after winning the first two, you are still going to buy full, okay? Or buy light and buy a Phantom and focus on your, um, and focus on your equipment, okay? So let's just say you lose pistol, okay? You buy all your equipment, I buy Ghost and Cloudburst, and I lose pistol. Minimum next round, I have $2,000. The unfortunate part is I don't have enough to buy full. I don't have a proper amount of economy to buy a Stinger or to buy a Spectre or anything. So the best case scenario is you just buy Classic, okay? And again, Classics are free, okay? And they're still a pretty good gun. And this in this situation where you lose Pistol, this is called a save round, okay? For the opposing team, it's called an eco round. The second round for the people who lose pistol is basically a save round. So you basically want to save up your economy and really buy full in the third round, okay? So you lose this one. Uh, then you go into the second round, you save. And then in the third, depending on if you win or lose the second, even if you didn't buy, it goes straight into a full buy round, okay? And as simple as that. Now the trick is, is how do you manage the economy after multiple rounds within Valorant, okay? So my trick is, I always like to aim for my agents around 4,100 all the way to 4,500 uh, minimum in the next round, okay? So if I'm saving, I'm saving towards if we lose the current round, okay? You don't want to save in situations where you're guaranteed a gun, sorry, you're not, you're guaranteed a gun this round. Or you're not guaranteed a gun next round. If you can buy in this current round full, I would say buy. However, if your teammates can't buy, there might be a little communication where you can do a little light buy. Okay, that means buying a specter with light armor or a judge or something like that, a guardian, or something light where you're able to still buy next round full, but you still don't want to waste your uh, economy. Okay, it's actually really difficult to explain on its face without actually demonstrating within a game, okay? So I'm just gonna be cutting straight to a game.
Okay, we are in the pistol round now, okay? So this is basically how I do it, okay? So I like to buy Cloudburst and Ghosts in the first round. However, you can buy a Shorty if you want. You can buy whatever you want, but I feel most comfortable using the Ghost and the Cloudburst for Jet on first round, okay? So in the second round, I literally just won my pistol, okay? So what's the next thing I do? Okay, since I won pistol, I have two options, okay? Now, since I'm on attack, I would like to buy Spectre with heavy shield and full equipment okay if i'm on defense i might be a buy a little bit differently since i'm playing jet however on defense i don't really oh, sorry on offense i don't really like to use an operator i like defense so i'm going to buy full with a specter so we just won the second round we won our buy we won our eco however we haven't done anything really so what we can do is since minimum next round we have 5,800 I'm not gonna buy even though I can buy a phantom or a vandal I'm just gonna up off of my cloud burst okay Matt you're gonna want to maximize your economy especially in the third round because the third round is considered a bonus because I won eco and I won the pistol now the reason why it's called a bonus is because the enemy has more of a advantage compared to us because they actually have the ability to buy full so on a third round win okay we won we won the first three rounds i'm just gonna buy full i don't need to buy anything else if we lose next round i can still be able to buy if we win we get 6650 plus any kill i get so it's good so i'm able to buy full so basically, we just lost our 3-1 camp, okay? And now, since we've already saved up on our currency, I can still buy full again, okay? However, my teammates can't do that because they weren't properly managing their stuff. So a lot of the pe some of these guys are actually requesting the buy at the current moment. Now, next round, minimum next round, if we lose, we're at 2,750. If we win, we're at 4,000 this next round i actually just got a hit of an ace so 1v5 age which is definitely going to be clip <laughs> for my shorts so i basically just won the five uh ace we're up to 4650 and even if we minimum next round we have enough okay so my goal right now is just to buy full i have enough resources to buy full nothing too special nothing too bad about that okay so at this point, we're just steamrolling this enemy. So again, this might be a bad example to run through, but 7,550 minimum next round is definitely heavy shield. I have enough for my teammate to buy. So I might actually just tell my teammates I have extra credits. Okay. Now we're, now we're getting to the point where we're just steamrolling. We're max buying. So again, tell my team, you always want to tell your team that you have enough. Okay. Make sure you buy full. Need a drop. I have extra money if anyone needs. I have extra money if anyone needs. Okay. Always want to tell your team that you can buy extra because you want to maximize your thing. Okay. No you only have maximum nine thousand credits. Everybody else doesn't. Okay. On your team. On my team anyway. Okay. So last round, basically, I died. I didn't have. I didn't use any of my abilities i didn't have a vandal but again like i have so much money guys i don't have to worry about so we just pop this so this round i yeah there's no point of me continuing but i hope everybody gets to the point where it comes second nature now on the certain rounds where when it comes to the certain rounds where i only have 4500 i'm able to remember the vandal is and the Phantom is 2,900. You want at least 1,000 armor, so that's 3,900. But you also want to make room for equipment, okay? Now, now we're at a point where the rounds are about to switch, okay? So you want to buy full. You want to buy everything, okay? So if you want to do a trick where it's like a, like a Vandal or an Operator, like, buy it. Don't be afraid. Um... You maximize your resources, okay? Don't be afraid to buy on the last round, especially if you have enough. Hey, now we're on defense. What must be done? So my goal on defense is basically to make sure I maximize and buy enough for next. Okay? So again, we won pistol. 
And honestly, it gets to the point where actually I kind of want to save for an op. So maybe my goal is to we're majority most of the situation we're going to win. And at minimum, I will have enough for an operator to buy light armor, no equipment. So that's good. But at the current moment, I'm just going to buy a deagle. Okay. So basically, I we just won our second round. And right now at the current moment, I have, it's all upside for me, basically. So I have the ability to buy operator third round. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we lost our third round. However, because of certain conversions and stuff, I'm still able to buy light and vandal. Okay. That's okay. I'm okay with that. However, if I still want to save for an op and I'm opping, Honestly, I'll just buy a pistol. However, I'm just going to go back with the Vandal. So we won the second, we won the next round. So again, I have the, I have two options. I am one away from piss, uh, knives. So actually what I'm going to do, I know this is usually, I would buy Vandal and heavy shields. Okay. However, I don't want to. Okay. So what I'm going to do is actually buy light. And I'm going to go a long, throw a smoke burst onto the orb, and try to grab it for my ult. Victory. Okay, so we just won that next round, and now because I saved and I went for the op, or I try to use my ability, I have enough for the operator. Okay, so I guess this guide is kind of has a mixture of how to save for an op, but also have to make sure you maximize your equipment. Unfortunately, this is not the best game where this game was pretty one-sided. Unfortunately, but at the same time. I hope you guys understand that you want to really around save minimum buy next. If there's anything to recap from this video is you kind of want to make sure in the middle rounds, that's where the real trick is. You want to aim for your kind of like your economy around 4,400, 4,500 around that area. Just so you can buy full armor. You can buy Vandal Phantom. You can and then buy all your equipment. Okay. So basically that is it everybody for this video. Thank you so much for everybody who came out to watch. Uh, hit that like and subscribe down below. If you have any more questions, don't be afraid to check out my streams where I actually go in deep and dive into what am I thinking of at the current moment. And I have no problem answering any specific questions for any of my uh, followers, okay? We'll see you next time in the video. Peace out everybody.